just pull the curtains on its brand new reasoning model erni x 1.1 and it's making waves right out of the gate the company described it as a leap forward in reasoning factual grounding and agent style intelligence basically a model built not just to answer but to think through the problems and the name baidu meaning a hundred times or countless times taken from a poem about searching endlessly before finding the answers feel almost symbolic here x1.1 is designed to shift tirelessly through complexity until it lands on the right insight without losing its way in the process this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the live streaming of baidu by this new model erni x1.1 which i believe is one of uh, the best models out there i have been covering by this model as you can see here especially the erni ones for quite some time back going back to 2023 october and recently i have been testing their erni 4.5 amazing amazing model now they have launched this new reasoning model which we are going to test online live in front of you so let's get started in order to test it out all you need to do is to simply go to erni.baidu.com and i will dive right into the testing so first up what i'm going to do i'm just going to give it this prompt where i am asking it the name baidu comes from zin ki's poem green jade table in the lantern festival which ends with the line having searched hundred of times in the crowd suddenly turning back she is there in the dimmest candlelight imagine you are a cultural historian philosopher and a researcher combined first explain the deeper meaning of these lines and then i am asking you to draw a parallel between the poem's imagery and the mission of an ai reasoning model like erni x1.1 and finally propose a futuristic scenario like set setting 10 years from now where an ai model after this philosophy helps the humanity i have turned on the tooling which primarily enables the web search and stuff so i'm going to run this also be aware the model has just been launched and you can see now it is going step by step chain of thought it is reflecting on my prompt it is understanding it and then it has divided it into different steps and it is tackling it step by step you see it is understanding the context so not only this prompt is trying to check out how exactly model performs in terms of multi layered reasoning but also if it is factually grounded because that is one of the hallmarks of this model and we are also testing if it is creative and coherent or not while it is printing the response i will just take you at the top you see not only it has done the thinking the thinking is fairly concise very grounded which really is quite impressive and if you quickly read through it and i am reading it live <clears throat> you can see that it understood what i am asking and then it is also giving me uh, the futuristic response so which is pretty good and just to give you a bit more idea around this model so under the hood erni x1.1 builds on the erni 4.5 foundation but gets a serious upgrade through end to end reinforcement learning mid training refinement and also post training alignment the model focuses on three pill pillars factuality which means reinforcement learning for knowledge consistency instruction following which is primarily a checklist uh, that is guided with verification no i think it has just uh, stopped it is still responding but i don't know where the response went maybe i will just wait for it to finish and then we will check it out and let's wait maybe i would have to reload so this is a thing which i have seen happening few time because there is so much load the model has been um you know i think it just responded to me in something like that i don't know what it did there uh maybe we can just rerun it i'm just going to rerun this in front of you and then we will check out what it does 
so uh, instruction following is there and then also agentic capabilities are there where it does a multi-round rl across chain of thought and action and the result is this system which seems quite sharp at reading tasks and as i said the model has been just released there's a lot of load on the platform anyway we will see and i'm not going to you know stop this so let's see how it goes there you go so again historical philosophical depth yes it was in the song dynasty which is correct so it, it has got the whole uh, ancient history context there and then modern AI, modern AI and metaphor where Ernie is seeker, that's what I wanted. Historical parallels are being devised and then also I wanted it to have some technological parallel. Well done. And then 10 years from now, you see it understands it is 2025. Most of the models you'll be surprised that they don't. But again, you see, it has given us a good response, but maybe their platform is having glitches due to the very heavy load. So it is just uh, giving errors. But anyway, I think we have got the response here. Let's try out another one. Now, next up, I'm going to ask it a coding question. For the coding question, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask it a bit of a complex one. Let me quickly find and paste that one. I'm just doing it in real time, so you just have to bear with me. Okay, so for the coding one, this is what I'm going to ask it to do. To create me a self-contained HTML file using p5.js. So basically there will be a rocket which will be zoom, zooming across the screen. And the rocket should be drawn like this. It should move smoothly, explode into multiple color particles and all that stuff. And I'm just going to go with it. Let's click here let's see how it goes with the coding again it is thinking and the model is quite strong in deep thinking you see it is already designing fireworks interactivity it is checking all the responses it seems fairly good and then model is devising the plan for it that i need to do this this and this Hopefully it is going to print it without glitching. So I will just quickly copy and then I will move across to my screen and I will show you in the browser tab. So I'll just make it like this. I'm also quickly go going through the code in real time and looks pretty good to me. I think it is just also taking care of the physics behind it because the rocket has to move in every direction without faltering, which is quite good. Let's wait for it. Just checking its sweet time. But I think we already have seen that its language, its coherency and creativity is quite good. I just want to see how exactly it performs in coding. And there you go. So I'll just quickly, okay, so it says mistake for some reason. I don't know what the heck. It, I'll just say try again. There's a lot of load. Thankfully, I was able to copy the code. Let me, okay, I'm just going to copy the code which I have already. I'm just going to open. So I have two monitors. So I'm just pasting the code in another browser. And then I will just move it and open it in the second tab. There you go. It has done pretty well. Very nice. Yep, I'm clicking on the screen and you can see that it has done well. The rocket could be better, but I think that is just models creativity. And I'm just focusing on and the instruction following, so you see uh, there is a trail and this is the first trail where, where I have seen particles coming out of it. The colors are there. It is moving in the right direction, some random stuff. The background is what I wanted it to be. So I'll just take it as a success there. Okay, that is cool. Now let's maybe check it out in multilinguality. And my apologies, look, I, I have no control over these glitches. So I'm just going to stop this and I'm just going to run it again. So 
so i'm just going to run it now for multilinguality so i'm asking it translate the sentence clinging to the past is like holding on to smoke into following languages where there are a lot of languages and i'm also testing the model trying to confuse it so these are all the top languages right so some of them are very well known some of them are obscure and then I'm, i have also included gibberish here and not only that i'm also asking the model to translate it into elder futhar runes which is a runic script it's not a really a language and then some fictional language and also provide me a brief cultural note for three languages of models choice i'll just run this and then we will see how it goes there you go so you see it immediately lands into the understanding of the prompt and then it correlates it it starts with the task and then it goes one by one it already has planned it out so it is slicing and dicing what i have asked it that okay i need to do the translation then fiction cultural notes it's always really very very fascinating to watch its thinking but i think we need um, more than that okay let, maybe uh, i will also do another video where i will do the offline one because it doesn't do the justice with the model's capabilities so due to the high load i guess but anyway i will keep trying so please bear with me there you go so it is again thinking thinking is a bit different but it has counted the languages so there you go so the plan is to use web search maybe you know what i will just turn off the tools next if it still glitches so this is agentic so it has automatically decided it is going to use web search to do the translation for elder for thark it is just going to use its own training set and for queenie i think that's a fictional one again it is going to construct it creativity and then some uh, cultural notes so it has decided where it would be using tooling and where it won't be using the tooling and then it has set all the plan a high level plan and then it is just going deep into the plan and you see there you go it says the user also wants gibberish which is a fake language there you go so you see the glimpses of brilliance are there definitely and this is what always has really impressed me about this model and i'm quite surprised that you know this model especially the afni 4.5 vl which i covered earlier on the channel it didn't get that much uh, traction because this is one of the best models i have tested in some time and i have even used it with few of the client projects out there okay so you see it is still thinking and i think thinking should be done now but i will just let it run you just have to be with me and meanwhile i'll show you by this website there you go they it is just seems like a google you can even do deep uh, search here pretty interesting by the way they also have a very good github repo and they also have a tool like paddle paddle which i already have covered on the channel earlier if you are interested check it out now i'm not sure whether it is thinking or it is glitching so i will just wait for a bit and see if it comes back Okay, so it was thinking now it is using the tool i mean this is good that at least we were able to check it out and these are the web pages so it is giving us the references we can also click on it to check this is the one this is a baidu's one thinking quite deep hopefully it will keep thinking and you see it has also decided that initial search didn't provide sufficient information and i need to call web search again so it is calling that search again and then it is going about it and if you are that language speaker please also check it out before it glitches uh that if the translation is right i can't check it online at the moment but you know from my past experience visually looking at it I think it looks pretty good. For example, look at Spanish. Not only it says that uh, Spanish idioms did provide a direct translation, but then it provided me a common proverb, and it is going about some proverbs here, so standard Arabic, Russian, 
and Indonesian. It's it hasn't done all of them by the way. So many regional languages it hasn't done. And this is Elder Futhark ruins. These are the fictional one it has just created, and then cultural notes. Very nice. Impermanence. So that is the Hindi connotation, and the French one is around literature and saying. And then it is compiling all the translations. I'm just going to keep it. Please check. Let me know in the comments. And it has didn't give me the regenerate here, which is fine. I think we already have got our answer. So look, I'm pretty happy with it, with the performance of the model. I think this is just simply the overload of the platform. The model has just been released and we all know that GPUs are in rare um, availability these days. So doesn't matter really. I will be covering this model again in an offline uh, video because I believe there is also another model which they are releasing in open source. So check it out. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to this platform in the video's description. And again, this is the first stream I have done of a model. So apologies if it was not perfect, but you know, I know that you will be uh, understanding there. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And one request, please consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all.